Hey guys, this is Florian from Afterlands. As well as being filmmakers, we are also photographers. And the question we get asked a lot is how do we retouch our photos? We have been shooting photos for more than 10 years now and have started sharing our work for the past 4 years. So I thought I'd make a video about how we retouch our shots and how we get to the results that you see online. We mainly shoot outdoor and adventure photography as we travel a lot and we usually pick our destinations based on the scenery. As you can see, we don't like our photos to be overly saturated or to look unnatural. So hopefully this is helpful to you if you're getting into photography or if you just want to learn about our process. Also, don't forget to subscribe as I intend to do a lot more of these photo tutorials. For this video, I will pick a recent photo that you can find on our Instagram that represents our work and I will explain the process behind it. So this is the final shot that we've posted on Instagram. This photo was shot in a beautiful Dolomites in the Italian Alps. If you guys have never been there, we highly recommend it. So now we jump into Lightroom. In this photo, I want to draw attention to the refuge as well as the mountains in the background as the image doesn't really have a point of focus. So first, I'm going to increase the white balance and adjust the tint. Then I'm going to up the exposure a bit to bring up some detail. I'm also going to increase the contrast to add some punch to the image. Regarding the highlights, normally I would bring them down a bit, but for this shot I'm just going to increase them as I want the light on the mountains in the background to shine a bit more. Now I'm going to bring the shadows up quite a bit and this plays a big part in getting the look that we're after. It brings all the details in the darks up and it also adds a bit of fade to the overall image. Then I'm going to increase the whites slightly just to add some pop and decrease some of the blacks to compensate as we lifted the shadows quite a bit. Next I will increase the clarity to give some punch to the image but not too much as it can look crunchy. This will help bring the clouds up. I will leave the haze as is. One thing I want to do though with this image is to bring some of the colors up in the grass as well as the mountains in the background and I do so by increasing the vibrance and saturation slightly. Now to one of the most important part of the retouching and that is the curves. I use the curves mostly to lift the shadows slightly to get a bit of a fade and also decrease the whites. I usually play around a bit until I'm happy with how this looks and usually go back at the end just to make further adjustments. Next I spend some time in the HSL panel where you can really draw attention to some part of your photos and be very precise with your retouching. This is usually the part that takes me the longest so bear with me. Also some of the changes might look a bit drastic at first but it all makes sense in the end. First in the hues I want the orange and the yellows of the mountains to be slightly more red like a sunrise and also the aqua and the blue to be slightly bit darker, especially the sky. Whilst you might not notice everything on your computer right now, I can assure you that it does make a big difference. In the saturation panel, I will up the oranges, yellows and reds to make the background mountains stand out a bit and decrease the greens as they can be a bit distractive in the foreground. Same for the blues of the sky. I really want the mountains to be the center of the attention. Now to the luminance, and the only thing I want to do here is decrease the greens by quite a lot, again just to draw attention to the center of the photo and not the foreground. Then I jump into the split toning, and I'm sure whether you're an experienced photographer or not, you have heard of this term before. Whilst it really depends on the image, I usually go for blue shadows and highlights, like for this shot for example, and then I adjust the saturation based on my preferences, and you can see already the impact that it has on the image. It is a very powerful and easy way to give a special look to your images. Split toning and HSL work really well hand in hand. Next I add a bit of sharpening but not too much, and most of the time I add some noise reduction to soften things up a little bit, but it's not really essential. I leave the lens correction as is as I don't really feel like it needs fixing, and I'm fine with the amount of vignette and distortion. Speaking of vignette, this is also an important part when you want to direct the eyes into a specific part of the image, so I'm going to decrease it until I'm happy with the result. Now you can really see how the refuge and the mountain are the main focus of this shot. So now that we have tweaked the main settings, I just want to use the brush to further adjust some specific part of the photo. First I want to highlight the refuge and slightly increase the whites and exposure to make it stand out a bit. Then using the brush I want to paint the mountains in the background. Increase the warmth, play around with the shadows, add a bit of clarity, but especially increase the saturation to give this beautiful sunrise the colors it deserved.
there you have it guys here's the before and the after i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you have learned something from it like i've said before i intend to do a lot more of these so feel free to have a look at our instagram or website and let me know if you'd like to see how we've retouched a specific shot in the meantime thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye